<clears throat> well, good morning, everybody. Um, so, you probably saw up there, what are we talking about today? Peace. peace. We're talking about peace. <clears throat> but you know, to talk about peace, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a character. Now, have you guys seen this thing up here? This whole thing up here? And you know what? I didn't even realize, but there's no sheep in this scene. I thought there was. But you know, um, we might just be missing the sheep. We must be missing the sheep because we have the shepherds that shepherd the sheep and no sheep. We have a donkey and a horse. What is this? Oh, it's a cow. Okay. Um, but a sheep and all the animals, really, you know, there were, so, there were lots of animals that were probably present when Jesus was born, right? That's why when we have a, a little nativity scene up there, we have, we often have lots of different animals up there too. Because um, what did, oh, there's a baby on there. I didn't even notice that. Okay, perfect. So here's a, here's a little lamb, the shepherd's holding. And, um, but what did Jesus, what did, what did Mary ride into Bethlehem on? Do you remember what it said? Okay, let me get my, my hold on, they raised their hands. A donkey. That's right. And yeah. And what um, what do you think might have been in the place where Jesus was born? Some other things. Hold on, Malia didn't get the answer. Um, a uh, no. What's in the place maybe that she was born? Okay. Um, a temple. A temple? Well, no, he wasn't born in a temple. We talked about that last week. Okay, maybe there's a manger. Brayden? Bethlehem. No, Bethlehem is the city. But what about where he was born? What do you think was, was around? Um, there's probably hay and just wood. Yeah, and what do you think the hay was for? The animals there, they could sleep on it. Yeah, animals, well, they eat the hay, too. Yeah, they eat the hay and they sleep on it, yeah. Um, well, it's like a little, like, like, there's like, uh, like, well, like this, this, there's the animals in that thing. Yes, there's the animals. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> probably, probably there was, um, the donkey was probably around, right? Because they needed, they, they brought the donkey, and so they probably had the donkey with them, right? And maybe there was even a, a horse or a, um, some cows and probably some sheep, right? Have you guys ever seen an animal sleep? Um, and also there's dogs and an angry soldier chasing them. Well, that's from the movie The Star. Yeah. And that, that, also part of that. that's probably not exactly. Yeah. But that uh, particular movie isn't 100% accurate in the way that it actually happened. They're just kind of taking some liberties. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, so... One of the other things that probably was there was sheep. Have you guys ever seen an animal sleep? Yeah. yeah. Does it look, do, when animals sleep, do they look like they're in pain? Yeah. Yeah? You think they look like they're in pain? Do you think they are worried when they're sleeping? Sometimes. Sometimes maybe? Do you think they are excited when they sleep? What would be a word you might use for when an animal sleeps? What do they look like? Uh, tired? tired? Well, tired would be maybe before they fall asleep. What might be another word you could use to describe it? Dead. Not, well, maybe, maybe sometimes they look dead, yes. I'm trying to seek, for, uh, seek another word maybe that might be up there. What, what do they look like? Maybe. Peace? Yeah, they, don't animals kind of look peaceful when they're sleeping? Yeah. And so do people sometimes if they're not snoring or... Or drooling, right? <laughs> but they look very peaceful. That's very true. Um, you have one, Jackson? What? That um, people go poop. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, well... Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and pray. Let's go ahead and pray. Yep, there's animals there, and they look peaceful, and yep. 
Let's go ahead and pray. Lord, <laughs> Lord, uh, whew, we thank you for these kids and <laughs> for their, their minds and the joy that they have and the tears that they bring in a good way. Um, we just thank you for each one of these kids. We, we pray that you would help them to see and understand the peace of this season as well that Jesus brings. So we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. All right, you crazy people. You just want a piece of candy?